hello welcome to my channel this is going to be a flip through review for Imagimorphia by Kirby Rosanas this is his newest um, so let me go ahead and get started here uh, first compared to the last one that was out Anamorphia um, the cover itself is amazing um, comparatively um, it's a lot thicker. It's a matte finish instead of a shine. It almost feels like it's a, of some kind of plastic. Um, so it'll it'll hold up a lot better. I know for me, when I was using the other book, after I used it a couple times, um, there was like creases and white marks all over the front because of it being bent up and stuff from, from use. So I don't believe this cover is going to do that. Secondly, the paper quality in this book is better. It's not the best yet, but it is better than the first one. Um, it is a lot thicker. It is um, a higher quality printer paper type of paper. Um, it's it's not the cheap kind that that was in his his last book. Um, I felt like that paper in in Imagimorphia. I'm sorry, in um, Anamorphia was uh, very cheap, cheap paper. Um, this is a lot better. It's a lot thicker. Um, this would hold fine for uh, gel pens, colored pencils, crayons. Um, I think um, it would probably do just fine for water-based markers. It will not do okay for alcohol-based markers. That Those will go right through your page no matter what you're doing. Um, the other thing that these pages would be fine for that the others were not is watercolor. Um, which is really good for me because I use a lot of watercolor in, in my coloring books. So anyway, um, this is Imagimorphia. And let me go ahead and start the flip through real quick. Not happy with the camera here, so let me just get a bit closer. There we go. There. That's better. Um, um, this is glue bound spine. It is the same size as the other book. Which is a 10 by 10. Inches, not centimeters. So if you're watching this, leave me a comment below um, and tell me what you are looking forward to coloring in this book. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Click subscribe down here and uh, subscribe to my channel for me. And just leave a comment. Let, let me know what you're seeing in the book that looks uh, really good um, to you to color. Tell me what you're looking forward to. I know there's a few of them in here I'm looking forward to coloring. Some amazing artwork that Kirby has done in this book. I love his books. They're just so different from the others that you can get out right now. And like I said, the paper quality in this book is much better than the first book. It's a lot thicker. Um, I've got both the English and the Spanish editions, 
and both of them are the same as far as paper quality in the front cover um, thickness uh, that plastic like feel to it they both have that and I know with Anamorphia um, the Spanish edition had that and the English edition did not um, so these are more like the Spanish editions that came out with the Anamorphia books And in the back, of course, you'll have the hidden items that are in the book, um, the items, artifacts, and creatures um, that are hidden um, in the pages, and he wants you to kind of find those. Some people like that, some people don't, but uh, I think it's kind of fun after you've colored everything to go back through and kind of see if you can find them. And then he has all the answers, of course, back here. He has them circled in each one of the pictures. You can see where he's circled different ones. Um, and like Anamorphia, he did not leave a test page back here. I really like it when, when the artists or the illustrators leave a page in the back that either has... Um, like a simple test drawing on it or just a blank page in general um, to help people know what mediums would be good for that particular book. Um, and there is the back cover right there. There's the front cover again. And the spine. And here is the thickness of the book. So there you go. Thank you for watching and happy coloring.